coming home from my mom's house yesterday, kind of cool out, so I had to turn the heat on, and we had no heat. And then, so I'm watching the gauges, and I noticed the temperature rose, got up to about 240, 250 degrees before I got home. So I'm thinking thermostat, okay? Now I checked the reservoir, the only problem is the reservoir is low. So we're gonna put a new thermostat in there because I cannot find a leak anywhere. And then we're gonna hook up uh, an oscilloscope to it, see if it's actually got like a head gasket problem or something like that. And the thermostat is way down there. And yes, I did check underneath the water pump, the little weep hole on the bottom, let you know the bearing seals went bad and nothing. So we'll, we'll see. I'm gonna take this little clamp off right here. There we go. All right, we'll take this off. Yes. And then we got one over here. Oh, there it is. I had someone tell me, why did they use that for? This is why. It holds the clamp. Now, get this out of here. Yeah. All right, that's a little stubby guy. Oh, it's just a little crusty. Yeah. Here's the old one. Here's the new one. It's advanced auto. It's the only one they had. Which is okay. It's one of the premium ones or something. Who knows? That looks like that. Sort of. Yeah, a little different spring. So we'll clean all that up. And clean this up. We got zip through here. Find this. You got right here. Be super careful. That should work good on this. Trying to let it glide. Don't be pushing on it. I'll just take this, just kind of just get some of the loose stuff. It looked like it was leaking, didn't it? Maybe that was where our leak was. Let's get like a little pick. Just kind of run it in here. All right, I got a brown scrubby. Just gonna clean this up a little bit. Right, I'll finish cleaning that. And down here, we'll do the same thing. We'll grab this, surface this up nice. All right, the way this goes in, it actually matters because of where this position is. So this goes on the motor like that. If you look right here, you'll see this. That's where this lines up with that. So that's like a pressure relief valve. So it's always supposed to be on the top. Oops. If you notice, this will line up with that little slot there, fit right in there like this. Push that in gingerly. Okay. Put this back down here. And our bolts. That's one of them for now. According to the interwebs, 89 inch pounds. That's it. Hose. Hose on here like this. This back on. 
Just take this, put that button, and release. There we go. Nice. I got a gallon of Dex Cool made by Fram. It's concentrated. And a gallon of distilled water. I the flexion transducer, I got it from Rocky. I actually made my own. I actually made my own, but uh, people are cheap enough. I ordered other stuff from them. I ordered a buck of leaves too. He paid like 15 bucks a week. Then I'm here. Sorry, I guess. Yes. And hook to the stroke. Move on. It's gonna let us kind of know if it's got like a bad hand cast I don't think we do, but we should have checked anyway. Is that who else? There we go. Alright, what did we say to auto on it? Oh, there we go. Oh, it goes. Okay, you got more than eight cylinders firing right there, right? None of them look. Well, they got an ordinary. If you had like a bad hatch gasket, one of them were just like bypassing, you would see a huge spike. I'm not sure what it is. Uh, plus and minus 20 millivolts. Yeah, that's fine. I'm going to zoom out more like that. So we know what's going on in the egg gas because. Take the top. Get one out. There's a tip on here. Quick wipes the off a little bit. One little messy. You know, I'm good. Oh, that's it. Thanks for watching. Make sure you hit the like button and subscribe so I can see more channel content like this. Alright, thanks very much. Bye now.